will come to sing for us. There is a name I love to hear, I love to sing its worth. It sounds like music in my ear, the sweetest name on earth. Oh, how I love Jesus, oh, how I love Jesus, oh, how I love Jesus, because he first loved me. Ah, Jesus, yo amo, ah, Jesus, yo amo, ah, Jesus, yo amo, pues primero él me amó. It tells me of a Savior's love who died to set me free. It tells me of his precious blood, the sinner's perfect plea. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Now tonight, I want you to turn in your Bible with me to Psalm 85, verse 6. What there, Psalm 85, verse 6. And it's page 641 in the Schofield Study Bible. I'll very familiar verse of scripture, but full of great truth. Verse 6. Psalm 85. 85 verse 6. Wilt thou not revive us again that thy people may rejoice in thee? Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. You may be seated. Wilt thou not revive us again that thy people may rejoice in thee? The first three verses of this psalm show the mercy of the Lord to Israel in the past. But verses 4 and 5 show the Lord's anger at them for their sin in the present. Verse 4 and 5 show the Lord's anger at them for their sin in the present. And God, verses 6 and 7 show their need for God's mercy to revive them. Verse 6 The Hebrew word translated revive means to quicken or make alive. Wilt thou not revive us again, make us alive again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? We have to be made alive again before we can rejoice to God. Before we can rejoice to God. And 
Our churches today have no idea of what it means to rejoice in God. Because rejoicing in God is sadly missing in our churches. All we have today is wildness or coldness. Our Baptist churches are as cold as ice. My wife and I were on vacation last week. We went to a fundamental Baptist church on Sunday. It was formal and cold. A Bible study church influenced by Dr. John MacArthur. The best people there took notes on the sermon. But most people drifted off to sleep looking around the church and paid no attention to the preacher. The preacher droned on and on explaining the Greek words but not applying them to the people. And the people love to have it so. I thought if I could have two minutes to apply the text Everyone would open their eyes in surprise. And then they would be angry with them for disturbing their sleep. I often wonder why Baptists even go to church in most places. In most of our Baptist churches, the people come to doze off. Anything that might get their attention would upset them. Dead old Baptists used to find fault with lively preaching. They would say about a lively preacher, he quit preaching, he quit teaching and went to preaching. As if preaching was a terrible thing. After my pastor left our church, the, uh, the people didn't want preaching anymore. Not this church, but another one. And after he left, they didn't want preaching anymore. Now the church is as dead as a corpse. You can't have a lively revived church without dynamic preaching. But that is the sad condition of most of our Baptist churches. Revival is diametrically opposed to anything that most churches have today. And so the psalmist cried to God, Wilt thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? It has been my unique privilege to be present in four God-sent classical revivals. Today, very few preachers have seen even one revival. By the mercy of God, I've seen four of them, including this one. 
which isn't over yet, by the way. Now look at our text in detail. First, revival is a sovereign gift of God. Will thou not revive us again? No volverás tú a darnos vida. It isn't me, it isn't the deacon, it isn't a, a Sunday school superintendent, it's God that revives the church. Will thou not revive us again? We prayed for revival for over 40 years. I would explain revival. I would preach for revival. I would emphasize revival. And every time I did, the people rebelled. People spoke against me for preaching too hard. People formed little groups to backbite me. People spoke against those among us who were serious Christians and backed the pastor. It got so bad that I was finally nervous and afraid to mention revival. But I kept on preaching the law and the gospel everlastingly. And gradually, those who didn't want serious Christianity left our church. We prayed for revival for 40 years. Until finally, those rebellious people were a few of them, a handful, three or four, were left in our church. And on Saturday night, August 27th, 2016, I asked serious people to recite our memory work. On Saturday night, August 27, 2016, I asked our serious people to recite the memory work in Isaiah 64. Oh, that thou wouldst rend the heavens. That thou wouldst come down. That the mountains might flow down at thy presence. As when the melting fire boy, uh, burneth. The fire causes the waters to boil. To make thy name known to thine enemies. That the nations may tremble at thy presence. And suddenly I felt God's presence in that room. I said, when revival comes down, it always comes unexpectedly. And that night a touch of revival started. On Sunday, August the 28th, the Holy Spirit 
This is the last last year. The Holy Spirit was present in the service. 结果去年八月二十八号的时候，礼拜天晚上呢，圣灵降临与我们同在。August twenty-eighth, the last year, the Holy Spirit was present in the service. John Samuel Kagan preached extemporaneously, going back and forth on the platform. 接着呢，约翰凯根的记场发挥，在讲台上走来走去宣道。John Samuel Kagan predicted in the arcade, sing a preparatory in the platform. A number of people came forward and prayed. At the altar, as John was preaching. 结果约翰宣道的时候呢，几位朋友走到前面信主祷告。Why you believe in the friend that you are not going to John? It's time to believe God. Then on Monday evening, September the fifth, at the end of our Labor Day Bible Conference, we saw a video on the revival in China. 然后九月五号，我们劳动节结束，礼拜一那天晚上看了一场有关中国复兴的纪录片。Lord, this is the September we saw a video of the revival in China. The people were confessing sin. They were weeping and singing. We had seen it before, but this time God was present. We had seen it before, but this time God was present. We had seen it before, but this time God was present. At the end of the evening, 结果晚上结束的时候，有严肃的祷告和歌唱。When I saw the sun of the candle in the fine day of the Lord, on Wednesday, September the seventh, a late night prayer meeting was held at our house. 九月七号礼拜三晚上，我家里举行了延续到深夜的祷告会。Miracle is set at the September the one hour song that started the night in my house. Eight leaders in our church prayed there for a couple of hours for God to send revival among us, as He has in China. We, the church's eight leaders, went to our house and prayed for a few hours to send revival among us, as He has in China. We, the church's eight leaders, went to our house and prayed for a few hours to send revival among us, as He has in China. I was a little afraid to give the invitation, but God gave it to me. I was a little afraid to give the invitation, but God gave it to me. I was a little afraid to give the invitation, but God gave it to me. I was a little afraid to give the invitation, but God gave it to me. I was a little afraid to give the invitation, but God gave it to me. I was a little afraid to give the invitation, but God gave it to me. I was a little afraid to give the invitation, but God gave it to me. I was a little afraid to give the invitation, but God gave it to me. I was a little afraid to give the invitation, but God gave it to me. I was a little afraid to give the invitation, but God gave it to me. I was a little afraid to give the invitation, but God gave it to me. Our deacon Qiu Dong Li came under conviction and broke into tears. 结果只是李奎东先生呢认罪痛哭起来。Rector Deacon Qiu Dong Li 啊，然后就 conviction 一窝囊。Mrs. Chan and Mrs. Kagan came forward to confess sin. 而且陈太太和凯根太太也上来认罪忏悔。Last year, the Chan Doctor Kagan made another confession to God. And we had another touch of revival. 我们又品尝了一次小规模的复兴。Altar talk of revival. For the first time in forty years, God came down. 四十年来，神是第一次又降临了。The meeting started at seven o'clock and ended at eleven. 聚会从早上七点开始，一直到十二点。The meeting started at seven o'clock and ended at eleven. 聚会从早上七点开始，一直到十二点才结束。It didn't seem very long because, as I've told you, it time stands still in revival. It seems like a much shorter time. 但似乎一刹那就过去，因为我们当时的祷告中间呢，时间停止了。In spite of the fact that we had that great meeting with God's presence on Thursday night, the next night, Friday, September the ninth, God was not present. 虽然神在礼拜四晚上与我们同在时候，九月九号礼拜五的时候却没有与我们同在。Mrs. Lee herself could not pray well or with ease. 李太太本人感觉到祷告非常困难。You see, the people in our church had assumed that God would be present as He was the night before. 以为那些人总是以为神会像前天晚上一样会我们同在。Again and again in that revival which started last year, we saw that one night God would be present, everybody would rejoice. The next night He would not be present because they didn't pray, and that went over and over and over again, and the people did not seem to learn it. So we don't. We're very slow people. We learn something very slowly. I want to tell you: if you want to have God here tomorrow, you have got to pray for Him to be here tonight 
and tomorrow as you come in, or he will not be here tomorrow. If you really want God today, you must be here tomorrow. If you really want God today, you must be here tomorrow. If you really want God today, you must be here tomorrow. If you really want God today, you must be here tomorrow. If you really want God today, you must be here tomorrow. If you really want God today, you must be here tomorrow. If you really want God today, you must be here tomorrow. If you really want God today, you must be here tomorrow. If you really want God today, you must During the day. 结果九月十日礼拜六，那那几位朋友禁食祷告一天下来。差不多 December day, Mario, Aaron, or 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 you know. But God was still not present. 但是神仍然没有与我们同在。And God knows too. I warned our people that God is sovereign. 我提醒过会众，神是至高无上。Dear Lord, take God as sovereign. And that He would not come back until they were serious. In confession and repentance. If they are not genuinely repenting, God will not come back. I warned our people that God is sovereign. 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 I warned our people that God is There was there was a, a little shuffling around for a few minutes, and then God returned suddenly to the meeting. 结果在我们在那踌躇处处，突然间神又回到了身边。我们又在会表演的所有的表演。Bayang Chang testified that she came to the meeting against the wishes of her Buddhist parents. 结果张巴扬上来做见证，说他父母呢怎么怎么阻碍他。Bayang Chang dijo de que había venido a la reunión aunque los padres no querían que eran budistas. They wanted her to stay with them for the Chinese Mid-Autumn Mid-Autumn Festival. 他的父母希望他跟他们一同度过中秋节。And that's going to be a test for some of you young people when it comes up. So, next year, the Mid-Autumn Festival, for you young people, is a test. Now, the Mid-Autumn Festival goes on for several days. Now, the Mid-Autumn Festival goes on for several days. Now, the Mid-Autumn Festival goes on for several days. Now, the Mid-Autumn Festival goes on for several days. Now, the Mid-Autumn Festival goes on for several days. Now, the Mid-Autumn Festival goes on for several days. Now, the Mid-Autumn Festival goes on for several days. Now, the Mid-Autumn Festival goes on for several days. Now, the Mid-Autumn Festival goes on for several days. Now, the Mid-Autumn Festival goes on for several days. Now, the Mid-Autumn Festival goes on for several days. Now, the Mid-Autumn Festival goes on for several days. Now, the Mid-Autumn Festival goes on for several days. Now, the Mid-Autumn Festival goes on for several days. Now, the Mid-Autumn Festival goes on for several days. Now, the Mid-Autumn Festival goes on for several days. Now, the Mid-Autumn Festival You can and you should invite your parents to it. 你们应该邀请父母亲起来。Why this is David and Peter do family? But if they refuse to come, 如果他们拒绝来的话，有的是这些给农忙的不灵。Try to get you to go with them instead. You have to say no. I know that's against Confucius, but it's not against Christ. 如果他们亲戚不来的话 ，Confucius and Christ are two different people. 相反，当你离开礼拜天去参加他们中秋节，你一定要拒绝，绝对不要离开。结果，武明先生的做见证说，他来教会必须要与面临，要面对这父母的恼怒。Several people came forward, but most of them were fooling around. 有几位朋友走到前面做见证，但大部分很多人都认为不真心。Why you believe in a friend that very much want? They would not give up lost friend. They would not give up lost friends and other sins. 他们不愿放弃自己迷途的朋友和犯罪。Look at them, they are amigos perdidos. Dr. Kagan noticed that those who were saved or revived. Gave up sin and took a stand for God even before they were saved. 我也就凯根博士发现了他们那些真正得救得到复兴的人。It's called repentance and faith, by the way. 他们忏悔之后得到了信念，站到了神的一边。Doctor Kagan to be held because much of their of the heart of the cargo after they are salvo are the remnant of the faith. These people that seem to have such a difficult time trusting Christ. It's usually because you won't repent. You want to trust Christ without repenting. No confess. No trust without repentance. You've got to get rid of the sin in your life first. Those who are very serious first. Most of them are because they are not willing to confess their sin. Don't confess your 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 sin. Don't conf
gave up sin before they were saved. Now, Kaigen 博士发现那些得救而得到复兴的时候，他们已经放弃了自己的罪恶，最后得到。Dr. Kaigen notó de que ellos de que fueron salvos o vivados dejaron el pecado antes. But those who would not pay the price received nothing from the Lord. 但那些不愿付出代价的人，根本没有从主那里得到任何福分。Pero que no pagaron el precio recibieron nada del Señor. Sunday, September the 11th. Domingo 11 de septiembre. Noah Song preached in the morning and John Kagan in the evening. Song 天里早上宣道，约翰凯根晚上宣道。Noah Song predicó por la mañana, John Kagan por la noche. Many people came forward. 许多人走到前面来。Muchas personas vinieron al frente. But none were saved. 没有一个得救。Ninguno salvos. Dr. Kagan said it was because they forgot what he said the night before about being serious and giving up sin. They thought that God would overlook it. God remembers from one Sunday to the next, even though inner city people forget that quickly. 虽然在座那些人很快的忘记了，神却记住，因为那些人忘记了头一个礼拜对他们提醒要认真严肃。La gente se olvidó que el doctor que que le pidió su noche noche antes de que tenga que estar serio y dejar no se han pecado. On Wednesday, September the 14th, I spoke on the need. For confession of sin and repentance. This was last year, September 14th, on Wednesday, I spoke about the need for repentance and repentance. Then, on Wednesday, 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 Or the most important services our church had ever had, and I still say that. This, I just emphasize, that our meeting is most important for the church. Most important for the church is the meeting on Wednesday night. The meeting is saying that it was the most important thing that the church has ever had, and I still say that. God had never come down this way in over 42 years in this church. Because this church, this church in history, 42 years, God has never come down this way to visit us. Dios nunca había descendido en esa manera en 40 años. These sermons last summer and early fall clearly show that God is sovereign in revival. 以上那些夏季和秋季的聚会，显明神是至高无上的。It is God who sends a revival. 是神才能遣送复兴。Es Dios que manda avivamiento. It is God who keeps the revival going. 仅有神才能使复兴持续。It is God who withdraws Himself from the meetings if the people refuse to come in deep prayer and preparation. 如果那些没有做好准备、深沉祷告的话，是神会离开我们。哎，要给神提的是，人们都偶尔一些不办了。God is the one who gives revival, but He only gives it to serious people and no one else. 仅有神才能显出复兴，但他仅仅是复兴给严肃认真的人。Lord, God, be your member, but solamente la gente seria y nadie más. Wilt thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? 你不再让我们复活，让你子民再次欢喜吗 ？No volverá a dar no vida para que su pueblo regocije en ti. Spirit of the living God, say it. Spirit of the living God, come now we pray. Spirit of the living God, come now we pray. Second, revival is only for God's people. 第二，复兴仅是给神的子民。Dos avivamientos solamente para el pueblo de Dios. Wilt thou not revive us again? 你不再将我们救活复兴吗 ？No volverás tú a darnos vida. The us does not refer to the non-elect. 这里的我们指的并非蒙昧非。No solo no refiere a esos no elegidos. The only it only speaks 
of Christians and elect non-Christians. That is, non-Christians that God knows will be converted later. Only Christians and those he knows will be converted later have any part in revival. No one else does. Solo cristianos de esos perdidos que son elegidos que van a ser salvos después. Those who are not among the elect will think they don't have to be serious in prayer. So in that way, among the chosen, they think they don't have to be serious in prayer. Those who are not among the elect will think they don't have to be serious in prayer. Those who are not among the elect will think they don't have to be serious in prayer. Those who are not among the elect will think they don't have to be serious in prayer. Those who are not among the elect will think they don't have to be serious in prayer. Those who are not among the elect will think they don't have to be serious in prayer. Those who are not among the elect will think they don't have to be serious in prayer. One of the ways to perhaps see who the elect are and who the non-elect are, do they pray serious prayers? Do they obey the sermons? Serious prayers are no sign that a person is converted or will be converted. No, obeying the Bible is no sign of conversion. People can read the Bible from morning till night, night and not be converted. Coming to all the meetings is no sign that a person is converted. They will not be helped at all by just coming if they're not one of the elect. For they will not confess their sins with tears. They will not be saved. They will not be revived. Oh, they will enjoy the happy atmosphere of the meetings. But they will not bend. They will not bend in repentance. Thus, they will not be saved or revived. Evan Roberts said, "Evan Roberts said we must rid the church of all bad feeling, of all bad feeling." Evan Roberts said, "We must rid the church of all bad feeling, of all bad feeling." Evan Roberts said, "Evan Roberts said we must rid the church of all bad feeling." Evan Roberts said, "We must rid the church of all bad feeling, of all bad feeling." Evan Roberts said, "Evan Roberts said we must rid the church of all bad feeling, of all bad feeling." All malice, all envy, all envy, all prejudice, all prejudice, and misunderstanding. Mr. Roberts said, "Don't bow in prayer until all of your offenses against others in the church have been confessed and forgiven." And he said, if you feel you cannot forgive, bend to the dust and ask for a forgiving spirit. You will get it then. Brian Edwards wrote, "Revival is always a revival of holiness." Brian Edwards said, "It always begins with conviction of sin." There is no such thing as revival without tears of conviction. And sorrow. These old timers are quickly passing off the scene. Paul Cook, who wrote the book on the fire of God in the Methodist Church, is now lost. In the darkness of Alzheimer's disease, I asked for him to come and speak. No, he'll never leave England again. They are passing off the scene. Brian Edwards has never seen a revival. He'll soon be gone. The Bible says, "If we confess our sins, 
he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Si confesamos nuestro pecado, él es fiel y justo para perdonar nuestro pecado y limpiar nuestra maldad. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. First John one ten. 我们若说自己没有罪的话，我们便以为神是说谎的，他的道也不在我们心里。Si decimos que no hemos pecado, le hacemos mentiroso. Su palabra no está en nosotros. One woman has been coming for twenty years without being saved. 有位女士来教会了二十多年，一直没有得救。Una mujer ha venido veinte años sin ser salva. Why? 原因。Because she blames other people for 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 their sin. Because he always blames others for their sin. Because as Shakespeare put it, with her, she is more sinned against than sinning. Just like Shakespeare put it, it seems like for him, he always blames others for their sin, but he is not sinned against. As Shakespeare said, Shakespeare has pecado más en contra ella de que pecado. She blames other people and does not confess her own sin. The old song says, "It's not the law, you're not the, it's not the, not the teacher, not the preacher, but it's me, O、oh、Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Not the preacher, not the teacher, but it's me, O、oh、Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, O、oh、Lord, standing in the need of prayer." It's me, it's me, O、oh、Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Old spiritual, I like it. 有首歌这样唱道，并非老师，并非牧师，而是我需要，我们需要祷告，是我需要祷告，主啊，是我需要祷告。我也是被这个多的罗，那不是说，不是说，有可能是其他的事。Search me, O、oh、God. It's number ten. Number ten, sing it, search. Confession of sin is a key to revival. Con, say it with me. Confession of sin is a key to revival. 认罪是复兴的关键。Confession of pecado is clave para vivimiento. You must confess your sins. 你必须认罪。There can be no revival without it. 没有认罪不可能有复兴。No puede vivir mi mundo sin ella. Sing it again. 再唱。That the most sinful people will put on a pious face. 很很奇怪，就是那些最邪恶的人呢，脸上很虔诚。Es raro de que son más pecaminosos que tienen caras santas. And fold their hands. 而且折起的手。Open their mouths. As they lead a church split, or as they lead a church in the ruin. 结果引导教会走向邪路。Ya sin quebrantamiento, ruin de iglesia. It takes the Holy Spirit to illuminate a person to the very sin and rebellion of their hearts. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. 遮盖自己罪过的必不亨通。而肯遮盖罪过的不能得。But whosoever confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Proverbs 
Confession of sin with tears is a key to revival. As Brian Edwards said, there is no such thing as revival without tears of conviction and sorrow, unquote. No, no revival without tears of conviction and sorrow. That's one of the main reasons America has not had a national revival for over 125 years. No revival without tears of conviction. I have found I have found something interesting about the Americans. In every sermon that we put up on the website, I put these words. Please give the name of the country you are writing from. For Dr. Heimers cannot answer any email that does not give the country of origin. Dr. We get hundreds of emails from all over the world. In fact, we're going to have an email reading marathon next weekend. So I got behind because we were on vacation. And I want to give you a marathon of reading. Oh, because they're so very interesting. My goodness. Why prepare a sermon when you have such interesting emails? And it's a worldwide ministry. Every week I get 25, 30, sometimes 40 emails. And every pastor or Christian leader who writes puts uh, on his return address what country he comes from. Except the Americans. Canadians do it, the Mexicans do it. The Canadians, Mexicans, todos. The Israelis do it. Israelis. Israelis. The British, the French, the Germans. The only group had it across the board. I would not have noticed it if it wasn't every single American. The statement is so prominent that nobody could miss it. And nobody does. Please give the country which you are writing from, or Dr. Heimers cannot answer you. I received three of them in that event today. Today alone. Why? The Americans never put the country of origin. Never. Why? Because we are the Americans. From the greatest country on earth. We have no humility. No thankfulness. And we're full of rebellion. I write back to every one of those people. I could send, I could go ahead and answer them, but I don't. Every time I write back and say I'm sorry 
but I cannot answer any letter, any email from anyone who doesn't take a minute to write their country of origin. Very truly yours, R. L. Heimers Jr. It was not so when I was a child. Across these last seventy years, I've discovered the Americans have become like brute beasts. They have become terrible people, arrogant, selfish, and godless. 过去七十年，我发现美国人变得完完全非常傲慢，根本不信神，根本没有虔诚感。In 60 years, the Americans have become the best of the sin dios. If you want to see the rest of the description, go to Second Timothy chapter three and read the first five verses. So you just want to see the rest of the description, go to Second Timothy chapter three and read the first five verses. So you just want to see the rest of the description, go to Second Timothy chapter three and read the first five verses. So you just want to see the rest of the description, go to Second Timothy chapter three and read the first five verses. So, why did I tell you that? Because, because that to be a true fact. That's for one reason. And for another reason, to show you that Dr. Kagan was right once again. Those who are fooling around and will not repent do not receive the blessing. America doesn't receive the blessing. America receives hurricanes. And earthquakes. America, North Carolina, no receive the rendition, receive the hurricane and terremoto. And the earthquakes and the hurricanes are only. The beginning. The earthquakes are only the beginning. The earthquakes are only the beginning. All over the world. One of the greatest privileges that a family can have is to have a young man in it that becomes a preacher. One of the greatest privileges that a family can have is to have a young man in it that becomes a preacher. Jack Nang told me this afternoon that the Korea, a Korean family does not feel blessed by God unless they have a doctor, an attorney, and a preacher as their sons. Yang Guohui 先生指出，他们一个朝鲜家庭如果没有一个人家里面的孩子或者成为医生、律师或者传教士的话，他们没有得到福分。Jack Nang dijo que los coreanos no se sienten bendecidos menos que tengan un doctor, abogado y predicador. Yet in the United States of America, we have a dearth of preachers, very few, not enough to fill the churches. The churches close by the hundreds every year. 但是呢，在美国确实很缺乏牧师、宣道士，整个很多的教会关门闭户。Los Estados Unidos hay pocas iglesias y se cierran. Why? Pocos predicadores. Well, because the parents in America are not like the parents in Korea or other parts of the world. They do not feel that it's a favor of God to call their son to the ministry. They feel that it's a curse, and so they. Are cursed. Because American parents don't think that their children are being blessed by God, so they don't think that their children are being blessed by God. So they don't think that their children are being blessed by God. So they don't think that their children are being blessed by God. So they don't think that their children are being blessed by God. So they don't think that their children are being blessed by God. So they don't think that their children are being blessed by God. So they don't think that their children are being blessed by God. So they don't think that their children are being blessed by God. So they don't think that their children are being I am not one of them. I
country where the women kill their babies. Discourage their sons from going into the ministry or into uh, 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 the foreign uh, field as missionaries. Those women rule over their husbands. Crab and complain and bitch in their homes until the Holy Spirit is gone. Have brought a curse on our nation. And such women must repent. For without repentance there is no forgiveness. There is no such thing as revival without tears of conviction and sorrow. You may be seated. Third, revival produces joy. Ever wonder why the Americans are so joyless? Ever walk down the street and see two Americans walking, uh, walking together laughing? Ever go to a baseball game and see two or three guys laughing together? No, you'll see them slugging each other in the mouth because somebody said something about some guy on the field that they'll never meet and that doesn't care about them or they don't care about him. They'll slug each other over such a thing. Delayed adolescence. In the situation of our country, only revival can produce joy. Wilt thou not revive us again that thy people may rejoice in thee? In thee, not in bars. In thee, not in drugs. In thee, not in somebody else's wife's bed. In thee. Who ever heard of an American rejoicing in anything except sin? Wilt thou not revive us again that thy people may rejoice in thee? And that can only happen in revival. And now to conclude the sermon, we are leaping forward. One year. To September 16th, 2017. On Saturday, September 16th, 2017, Dr. Kagan preached on the suffering of Dr. and Mrs. Heimers. Sábado 16 de setembro, Dr. Kagan predicou o sofrimento de Dr. e Sra. Heimers. Em que ele disse que a nossa sofrimento produziu esta igreja. Ele就在他宣道里面讲到说，我们这我们啊夫妇呢啊怎么的苦难带来这些教会。Well，as we were driving down here to Because we didn't suffer any more than anybody else. Take that out of the tape because the sufferings that we went through are so incomplete compared to the suffering that people go through around the world. 
，而且我们跟世界各地或者什么教会那些人相比较，我们就并并不受的不多。El sufrimiento nuestro de estar a poco en comparación con lo otro del mundo. People all over the world get cancer. 世界各地很多人都得了癌症。Gente todo a través del mundo tiene cáncer. People all over the world get epilepsy. 这个世界各地他们很多人瘫痪。Gente todo a través del mundo tiene epilepsy. After all, we're not young people. 我们要知道，并不是年轻人。Los somos jóvenes. People get sick. 很多人会有病。La gente se enferma. What we did, she said, was not that important. We did not do that important. Lo que hicimos no fue tan importante. Unless our young people can take what we started and take it from here, then it might be important. 除非我们年轻人能够从这个基础上发展到更进一步发展，而且得到一个强壮的教会，那就是我们所做的有意义了。Si nuestros jóvenes pueden tomar lo que nosotros empezamos y continuar, entonces será importante, pero si no, no. At the end of the sermon, I stood at the pulpit and recounted the blessings of the revival here so far. 那次礼拜结束的时候，我站在了讲坛前面，而且数算了我们得到的一切的福分。Bien de ser mon abuelo de las bendiciones que se han visto. I asked those who were saved during this revival to stand at the front of the church. 让那些得救的朋友站在讲坛前。Dije que fueron salvos en el movimiento que se pusieron de pie en frente de la iglesia. There were about twenty hopeful conversions, the most we have had in one year, in all time. We've never had twenty conversions in one year. 大概二十位左右的朋友得到了转变，这是我们有史以来从从未有过这么多人得救的数字。Vente convenciones nunca hemos tenido vente convenciones nunca. I also asked those who were revived, had been revived in the meeting, to come and stand with them. 而且那些得到复兴的朋友也到前面来跟他们一同站立。And with others who had been helped by the services, over one third of the church came to testify of God's blessings in the revival so far. It was a time of great rejoicing. 确实是喜乐庆祝的时候。Tiempo de gran regocijo. Please stand and sing hymn number seventeen. On your song sheet, fill all my vision. Fill all my vision. Him number nineteen. Here is love. Number nineteen. Here is love. Here is love.
number nine, uh, number eighteen, number eighteen, pass it on. This is your This is your show. Yeah. Today's sermon. 感谢大家观看今天我们讲的道。Gracias por mirar este mundo hoy. And if you are not saved, I urge you to come to Jesus. 如果你仍未得救的时候，我鼓励你、督促你信靠基督。Si no eres salvo, te animo que vengas a Jesús. When I was a young person, I went forward、uh, many, many times、uh, to be saved and to rededicate my life, but somehow. I never got saved that way. 要在我年轻的时候，我许多次走到前面去得救，或者重新奉献我的一生，但是那样的方式一直没有使我得救。When I was a young man, I went forward to be saved and to rededicate my life, but somehow I never got saved that way. When I was a young man, I went forward to be saved and to rededicate my life, but somehow I never got saved that way. When I was a young man, I went forward to be saved and to rededicate my life, but somehow I never got saved that way. I simply came to Jesus and trusted Him, and He saved me and washed me clean with His blood. 我就是简简单单信靠了耶稣基督，相信了他，用他呢，用他的宝血洗净了我的罪孽。Simplemente vine a Jesús, confié en él y él me lavó con su sangre. It's extremely to, important to know where Jesus is. I don't think I really thought about that before that I was saved, the day I was saved. 要知道，在我得救那天之前呢，我一直没有意识到耶稣到底是在何处，现在在何处，这是非常重要的一点。Es muy importante que sepa dónde es que está Jesús. Yo no creo que pensé de eso antes del día que fui salvo. Right now, Jesus is not in the air all around us.、Uh, he's not on the cross still.、Uh, Jesus is not in our hearts. The Holy Spirit is, but not Jesus. The Bible says repeatedly, over and over again, that Jesus is at the right hand of God the Father in heaven. 如今呢，耶稣并没有在我们周围，各处那个空呃虚无缥缈中间飘，也没有在石架上，更没有在我们心中圣灵在我们心中。但是圣经重重复复讲到，耶稣基督在上天神的右手边。Jesús no está todo alrededor de nosotros, no está en el corazón. El Espíritu Santo sí está con nosotros, pero Jesús, en la Biblia dice que está a la mano derecha de Dios el Padre en el cielo. And Jesus loves you; he's not angry with you. 耶稣爱着你，他并没有生你的气。Jesús te ama, no está enojado contigo. God the Father is angry with the wicked every day, but Jesus came into the world. The Son of God came into the world to save sinners, and He loves you. 神呢，每一天都生那些罪人的气，因为为他们犯的罪。但是耶稣基督来到人间，他为了就是拯救罪人。Jesús no está enojado contigo. Jesús vino al mundo para salvar los pecadores. Él te ama. And God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Even though He was angry with sin, He loved the world. And sent his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John three sixteen. 虽然神憎恶这些世间的罪孽，但是呢，他爱世人，将他自己的独生子赐到赐给我们，让一切信他的不至灭亡，反得永生。约翰福音三章十六节。
de tal manera amó Dios el mundo que dio su hijo en Egipto para que cualquiera que crea en él no se pierda más tenga vida eterna. Sometimes people ask me, how do you come to Jesus? Yo soy chante yo le digo, ¿cómo se puede llegar a Jesús? A veces la gente me pregunta cómo es que vienes a Jesús. I never answer that question because the Bible doesn't answer it. 我从来没有去回答这个问题，因为圣经没有这样回答。Nunca doy respuesta a esa pregunta porque la Biblia no da respuesta. When you are tired of your sin and tired of your struggle, then God will draw you to Jesus, and it will be a very simple matter. 当你厌倦了自己的罪恶的时候，当你厌倦了那种挣扎之下的时候，但是结果神就会自然而然引导你信靠基督了。Cuando estás cansado de tu pecado, de entonces ah ah es un negocio fácil para que Dios te traiga a Jesús. Not long ago, I was reading again the testimony of the salvation of Dr. A. W. Tozer. 不久以前，我又一次读了读 A. W. Tozer 博士他得救的见证。Reciente estaba leyendo de nuevo en la conversión al testimonio de la Dr. Tozer. Dr. Tozer heard a man preach the gospel on a street corner. Doctor Tozer escuchó a alguien predicando el evangelio de una esquina. It was the first time he had ever heard the gospel. 这是他头一次、第一次听到福音的宣扬。Fue la primera vez de que había escuchado el evangelio. He was seventeen years old. 十七岁才。Diecisiete años de edad. And Doctor Tozer ran home. He didn't stop to talk to anybody or tell anybody about it. He ran home and went up into the attic. Of his house, of his father's house. This doctor, he ran home from the road. He didn't stop to talk to anyone. He ran home and went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. He went up to the attic of his father's house. 有可能这是可以成为你得救的方式。当你在网站上听到了我们这个宣道的时候，可以自己一个人单独一个人在单独祷告。Quizá de eso sería bueno también para ti. Si estás escuchando este sermón y estás perdido, ve a un lugar callado de solo. Get down on your knees. That helps to humble you. Get down on your knees and come to Jesus, and His blood will wash every sin away, past, present, and future. 这样跪下呢，帮助你作为一些卑微一下，让这样跪下请求神的，请求耶稣基督，请求神的原谅。这样呢，原谅你过去、现在和未来全部的罪孽。In cantar tus rodillas y a ven a Jesús, el abrazo tus pecados pasado, presente, futuro. Repent and believe in Jesus. 当忏悔，信靠主耶稣。Arrepiéntete, cree en Jesús. Turn away from your sinful lifestyle and get down on your knees and simply. By faith, come to Jesus. That's all He requires. Him that cometh to Me, I will in no wise cast out. He said in the sixth chapter of John. 在约翰福音六章，呃，这里边讲耶稣这样到我这里来，我绝不会离弃他们。所以你要抛弃自己邪恶的生活，结果转向耶稣，靠信念的信靠他，这就是他所需要一切了。Ese camino bien no lo rechazaré, dijo de breve en el Evangelio de Juan. And then if you do come to Christ, I Pray that you will get in to a church as soon as possible and be in church every time the door is open. There's no more important advice that I can give you. Get into a church and be there every time the door is open. 但是，当你得到转变之后，一定要找一个地方教会。每一次教会有活动，都去参加，没有比这更重要的了。一旦你得到转变，参加一个地方教会。No hay mejor consejo que te puedo puedo dar menos que ve a la iglesia diste ahí cada vez que la puerta esté abierta. And if at all possible, make sure it's a church that preaches from the authorized King James Bible and sings the traditional hymns. 如果可能的话，这个教会应当是宣扬 King James 的版本，而且他们唱的是传统的圣诗。Y si es posible, asegúrate de que sea de la King James y a los himnos antiguos. And go to the pastor and tell the pastor that you've been saved. 而且告诉了牧师你如何得救的。Habla con el pastor, dile que fuiste salvo. And the best advice I could possibly give you is to get in to a church, a local church, 
and be there every time the doors open. That's the way to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And be sure to send a tithe, give a tithe of your money to the church, and God will bless you. 所以我给你的最重要的这个建议就是进入一个地方教会，在那里面就是在恩典之下不断成长，而且拿出你的十一奉献交给这个地方教会。Métete ya en una iglesia local es una de las mejores maneras de crecer en gracia y conocimiento de un diezmo ahí Dios te bendecirá. Now I would like to ask you to support this ministry and help us. 我现在希望你能够帮助我们的网站们传道事业。Quiero pedirte de que nos ayudes apoyando esta este ministerio. Because these sermons are going out throughout the world in many many languages and we're adding more languages almost every month. 要叫我们就是通过网站各种各样的十几种语言，而且我们越来越多的语言，不断的每个月都要加上去，所以这是传遍世界的一个福音。Entonces mones van a través del mundo en internet y muchos idiomas y añadimos más idiomas casi cada mes. And Dr. Kagan, who are, is our statistician, has estimated, based on various things that he studied, that 80 percent of those who watch these sermons, who read my sermons in manuscript form on this website. Eighty percent of them are pastors. Kagan 博士，我们教会的一个统计学家，他这样估计，就是在我们网站上面读我们讲到的一些朋友呢，百分之八十都是宣道士。Y el doctor Kagan que hace las estadísticas para nosotros de piensa de que ochenta por ciento de la gente que ve estos videos escucha de esa son predicadores. And they are using these sermons when they get stuck, as as I often do, uh, to give them a sermon idea. And uh, in the third world. Uh, in places where the gospel cannot go, many preachers are preaching these sermons verbatim, right, word for word. 要叫很多的牧师，当他们自己根本没有不知道要宣讲什么的时候呢，通过网站可以得到一些启发。很多在第三世界国家那些教会的牧师，通过我们网站什么，逐字逐句就是用我们的讲的道来宣讲。Y ayuda a pastores a veces cuando no saben a qué predicar, pero también en los países tercer mundo son la están predicando palabra por palabra. I don't know if you knew this. I didn't know it until not too long ago. But one third of the world does not have any, not even one missionary doesn't have any missionaries from the United States, Great Britain, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. No missionaries from the English-speaking world. In one third of the world. 不知道你有没有注意到，我是最近才发现，就是在三分之一世界上的地区，西方世界，美国、英国，而且欧洲和澳大利亚等等，那么西方这些传教士根本去不到世界三分之一地区。No sé si lo sabes, pero un tercio del mundo no tiene misioneros de, de, la, de que hablan inglés. Jesus said, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." 耶稣这样告诫我们，要往普天下去，向万民传福音。Eso dijo de ir a todo da el mundo predicar el evangelio a cada criatura. But our Western missionaries cannot get into one third of the world. That's about two and a half billion people where our missionaries cannot go. 但是我们西方这个传教士大概有三分之一的地区，大概也就是两亿五千万人员，根本就是我们啊得得啊达不到我们这些呃西方传教士那个啊他们这个声音之下。Tercio del mundo como un billón de gente, los misioneros nuestros no pueden ir ahí. But the native pastors are there. 但是有本地的传教士在那里。Pero los pastores nativos sí están ahí. And they are the only way, they are the only means of spreading the gospel in those countries is through the native pastors. 在那些地区，就是唯一通过地方的本地传教士来把福音传出去，是唯一的方式了。Es la única manera de repartir los evangelios es a través de los nativos pastores. At the beginning of World War II, Winston Churchill, the Prime Minister of England, sent a message to President Franklin D. Roosevelt in America, and he said, "Give us the tools, and we'll finish the job." 第二次世界大战开始的时候，文森·丘吉尔曾经发了一个信息，传给这个美国的总统罗斯福，这样祈求到说：“请你们把工具交到我们手中，我们就把这工作完成的。” A principio de, de la guerra de mundial, Churchill mandó una correspondencia al presidente Roosevelt diciéndole: "Mándanos las herramientas y nosotros terminaremos el trabajo." And that's what we're attempting to do with this website. We're sending the printed sermons, word for word. On the internet, 
to those nations in the Muslim world, the Buddhist world, the Hindu world, where our missionaries cannot go. 这就是我们通过这个网站所要办到的事情，把这个福音的信息逐字逐句的传到那些三分之一就是入穆斯林教国家，还有那佛教的国家，各种各样的一个呃传教士去不到的地方，把那些这个武器交到那些传教士的手中。也是了，该他们是先做，他们是蛮难做这些工作呢。啊，也是可以做，把拉回，把拉回到那些国家，穆斯林国家，啊，的，或者是穆斯林国家，那些穆斯林国家。We're giving those native pastors the tools. And they will finish the job of spreading the gospel in those parts of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We put these translation tools in the hands of the native pastors. They will finish the job of spreading the gospel in those parts of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We are giving these native pastors the tools to do their work, to spread the gospel in those parts of the world where our missionaries cannot go. And we are giving these pastors, those native pastors, the tools, and they will finish the job of going into all the world and spreading the gospel to every creature. In that one third of the world where our missionaries cannot go, we just put these tools in the hands of the native pastors in their hands, let them go to that one third of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We just put these tools in the hands of the native pastors in their hands, let them go to that one third of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We just put these tools in the hands of the native pastors in their hands, let them go to that one third of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We just put these tools in the hands of the native pastors in their hands, let them go to that one third of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We just put these tools in the hands of the native pastors in their hands, let them go to that one third of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We just put these tools in the hands of the native pastors in their hands, let them go to that one third of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We just Add more languages and more translators. Now, I just hope you can help us to add more translations and more translators. And I'm asking you to help us to add more translations and more translators. And I'm asking you to help us to add more translations and more translators. People in our own church translate the sermons into Chinese, Japanese, Tagalog, the language of the Philippines, Spanish, and of course, I give them in English. And so we are able to do those five languages, but all the rest of the languages we have to pay a small amount of money to the missionaries and Christian workers that translate all the other languages. Yeah, 在我们本教会这些朋友们已经翻译成了中文、西班牙语，而且日文，还有一些 Tagalog， 就是西墨西哥呃那些。但是呢，其他的这语言呢，都是要有其他的，我们要啊啊给他们一些资啊资助，给他们一些报答，让他们来帮助我们做翻译。Y nosotros de, en la nuestra iglesia estamos nosotros mismos traduciendo en español, en a, a japonesa, en a coreano, da, en a chino, a, y va pues claro en inglés. Y a, pero a, tenemos que pagar a los otros que están afuera de la iglesia. Now we have raised a lot of money here for the languages that are already up, but to add more languages, we're going to need your help. Now we have raised a lot of money here for the languages that are already up. 用很多这个资金来赞助，但是要加多更多的语言的话，我们就需要你来帮助了。Estamos usando mucho dinero acá para los idiomas que sí tenemos en el sitio anterior, pero para añadir más idiomas necesitamos ayuda. Could you possibly make a monthly pledge to help us add more languages to this website? 你能不能能够保证每个月来啊提拿出一笔这个啊资金来帮助我们，帮助我们把更多的语言加在我们网站上面？ Podrías mensualmente ayudarnos a con una promesa para ayudarnos a añadir más idiomas. If you can do it, I'm asking you to send fifty dollars a month. If that's not possible, twenty-five dollars a month, and make a monthly pledge to this ministry to help us get these sermons out in those parts of the world where none of where none of our missionaries can go. 所以我希望你能够每月呢，能够赞助些五十块钱，如果不可能的话，二十五块钱也可以，二十五块钱能够帮助我们把这个语言，把这各种各样的福音传到这个世界上面三分之一地区，我们这个西方传教士去不到的地方。Si no pudiera ayudar, por favor promete para ayudar algo mensualmente para que podamos mandar esto a lugares donde los misioneros no pueden ir. Because the internet goes everywhere. 因为万维网站呢是去到是无孔不入的。La internet va a todas partes. And those native pastors can print out the sermons from their、uh, from their computer or copy them down with a pencil or pen. And often、uh, they circulate these sermons and、uh, pass them on to others. So would you help us with a monthly gift? 所以那些本地的牧师可以打印出来，或者把它抄下来，或者做拷贝等等，或者是流传传给另一个人。能，你能不能帮助我们做好这些工作呢 ？Frequentemente los pastores escriben palabra por palabra de los lo que se ve en la la computadora, pero la cosa es que por favor ayúdanos mensualmente. And if you can do that, 
uh, you could send the money with a credit card or you could send it uh, by Western Union and uh, uh, see if you can send it in with American money if possible and the sheet will come up in just a moment that tells you uh, how to send the money by credit card or the post office box where you can mail it. Un momento da verás la dirección donde se puede enviar el dinero a través de tarjeta de crédito de PayPal o a Western Union, uh, pero uh, ojalá mandarlo en uh, dinero dólares, pero si no da uh, uh, vienen pronto la dirección en la pantalla. So keep watching and uh, that information will come up on the screen in just a moment. So continue看下来，观看下去，一会儿这个啊，做奉献的信息呢，这就打印在这个屏幕上，让你看了。Sigue mirando y esa información se verá en momento en la pantalla.